Hi, I'm at the uh, Alberta Birds of Prey Center in uh, Coldale, Alberta, and we're here to see some uh, wild birds up close and personal. And um, we've got Colin here, who is the owner and uh, founder of uh, the center here, and he's holding a golden eagle. And um, and I actually got to hold the eagle earlier. A real heavy bird. And there's a story about this one particularly because he's blind. It's a he, right? That's right. Yeah, he's blind, and, and so um, he's going to be permanently uh, housed at the center here. And uh, we'll let Colin tell the story of what happened there. Yeah, well, a lady found him on the side of the, a roadside ditch here, maybe about uh, six or seven years ago. Brought him to our center. We weren't too sure what was wrong with him, and it turned out that uh, he'd actually been shot. And he's got a gunshot pellet just go through his uh, right eye, and it's uh, still in the back of his head. And it actually, sadly, it took his vision from both eyes, so he's completely blind. And uh, because of that, he uh, won't be able to be released back to the wild. So now he's a permanent resident that we use for uh, environmental learning programs here at our center, and also when we uh, travel across Alberta. Very nice. So, so the. The, is it the bullet or the shrapnel which is stuck in there? Yeah, so he's got a couple of pellets that just went oh, through the his right yeah. eye and the back of his head oh. and they actually severed his optic nerve so now Jeez. he's not able to see. And in captivity, in the wild, an eagle like, might live to be in the mid-20s. Yeah. But in captivity, this eagle could live another 50 or 60 years. Yeah. So he could definitely outlive us. And, uh, very interesting story, very beautiful bird. I call the, I call the golden eagles, they're like the Clint Eastwood of birds. Yeah. They're the strong, silent type, and they nest uh, high in, in our alpine meadows here in Alberta. Yeah. And they also nest out on the prairies, both okay. uh, east of Calgary towards Medicine Hat and Lethbridge, and usually along our rivers. Um, I noticed he, uh, he has, he's moving his head around a lot, trying to focus on something. Is it the sound then um, that he's trying to focus on since he has no vision, or is there something else that they can, can use for Yeah, it? Since, he, since he lost his vision, he's yeah. really dependent on his hearing. hearing so, right? so quite often he's just turning his head around in response, response to different sounds that he might hear. So is he, because he can't see, does he feel more threatened than the other birds, or, or would he be fine because he's now just he's more comfortable with the environment perhaps? He's, he's quite relaxed right now and yeah. it's quite remarkable. He was an adult bird when he came into our center. Yeah. So just the fact that he's calmed down this much and if you want you're welcome to uh, stroke him on the head here. It's and uh, it's not very often that uh, children <laughs> get this sort of experience. I know. So, uh, this is it's great for the kids. It's the sort of thing that all visitors can experience when they visit us in the summer. Oh wow. Never turn